everyone, so today I'm doing the Truth or Dare makeup challenge that I saw on Nikki Tutorial's channel. Basically, I am going to read a whole lot of questions you guys have asked me and voted upon on this website that Nikki found. I can't remember what it's called. The very top questions that the most of you have voted to hear about. And if I can't answer that question, I have to use one of my least favorite beauty products on my face to do my makeup. But if I do answer the question, I can use my favorite. So hopefully the makeup turns out okay. So I'm going to jump straight in and get started. Obviously the first step is the primer. So the question is who is your least favorite beauty person on YouTube? And I definitely don't feel like answering this question because I don't want no drama. No drama llama. This is the Wet n Wild coverall primer and I don't like hate it. I feel like you know with primers if there were any that I absolutely hated I've like well and truly long gone got rid of them and decluttered them. But when I did use this primer I remember the product on top of it. What the hell just happened? Did I really squeeze it that hard? I don't think I did. The last time I used this I remember the foundation on top looked so terrible so this is just one that I'm probably gonna get rid of you know what I'm saying? And this just confirmed my theory. I already hate it because of what just happened. <laughs> it feels really nice on my skin um, like when I put it on but for some reason like the stuff on top just doesn't go on very nicely and I love Wet n Wild and I love the foundation photo focus one which I've done a review on like I love this but the primer just not so much. There's like no stickiness or anything my skin just feels like very soft. Next question least favorite makeup company. I feel like there's not really a company I hate enough or I hate their products enough. Like there's scandalous brands out there but I love the actual makeup, like the quality. Like maybe I just don't use them or whatever. You know like Lime Crime or Kat Von D, like I still love the products, I just don't use it. In terms of like terrible quality, I don't think I can answer this one either. I thought I could answer it but I genuinely just don't know. And that's not a good enough answer so I'll take one for the team and use a foundation I don't like which is actually one I did a first impression on, you might have seen it already. It is. The Shameless Foundation by Marc Jacobs and everyone told me I was using it wrong but seriously I hated it so much so obviously in this video some stuff that works for you is not going to work for me and vice versa if it works for you that's amazing. This did not work for me whatsoever and I hate it and that's coming from someone who loves, <laughs> loves Marc Jacobs base products. This is the first like base product by Marc Jacobs that I don't like at all so I'm gonna use this. I think last time I used it with a sponge. I'm gonna use it with a brush today. This is shade Y30 or Y130 sorry and I'm just gonna ooh, spread it all over. I find it so dry and can you see what's happening with this primer? It's just making the foundation go on so patchy. Like I don't like this foundation but I mean it's not normally this terrible if you know what I mean. Like seriously look at this. Like what is that? I really wish I could have answered this question because I feel like when you've just started off with a terrible foundation it's hard to save the rest of the face. Hopefully I can um, answer the concealer question so that I can at least just pack that on. <laughs> kind of cheating but you know. Okay I've just like whipped my sponge secretly because I'm just gonna like I feel like I need some moisture. Some H2O. So yeah I'm gonna donate this foundation because you know so many people do love it and hopefully someone else can get some good use out of it. It just looks like absolute shit on my skin. Have you guys ever tried a foundation that you just like don't like whatsoever? If you have, comment below and let me know what it is. I'm so interested to know. So, I mean, the lighting always makes it look a tiny bit better than in real life, but it's nothing special. It doesn't look very good and I had to try so hard just then to make it like blend. So it's probably not perfect, but we're gonna move on. Third question, I knew this would come up of course. Opinion on Jeffree Star. I'll answer this one. I actually, like, this wasn't even on purpose, but I actually finished watching Shane Dawson's series on him today. And my opinion on him, like, you guys know back in the day when I did, like, my first Jeffree Star lip swatch video, I said I was such an admirer of him. I was never a diehard fan in terms of, like, following his every move, following his music career and stuff like that. I was a big fan of him, like, in terms of turning the internet into a career. Like, he started off on MySpace and he utilized that and used it to his advantage and built an empire, like, following on, if that makes sense. And by being himself and by being unique and being weird and not normal and all of these different things so I always thought it was so cool and then of course all these scandals started releasing and like you know all of this stuff happened honestly after watching um, Shane Dawson's documentary and hearing like 
the backstory to these like videos that went online. It doesn't excuse what he did at all, but I can see how it happened. Not to say that's right, of course, it's not right, but I can see how it happened. So I can understand the thought process. And I guess, you know, it did happen so long ago and he has apologized for it. To be fair, I just honestly think like, fair enough, if you don't like him, that's your choice. But in my mind, like he's apologized for this. He's owned up to it, he's explained himself and he has said himself, it's not right what he did. So my opinion on him, I still think he has done amazing things with his life. I don't think he's a perfect human being, but who is? I no, I'm not. I know most of us are not. So that's pretty much where I stand. Whether you love him or hate him, he's definitely a very inspiring person and has done like a lot with his life and come, you know, a long way up from where he started and where his like childhood sat and everything. Like I find it very admirable. So let me just fix this with some of my favorite concealer. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer under my eyes and just around a couple spots on my face where I need a little bit of extra coverage. There are some like diehard haters out there of Jeffrey and they always come in packs I suppose and you know if you don't like him I respect that that's your life you can live your life however you want and if you want to unsubscribe from me because I've said this then oh well thank you Colourpop so much for saving my day I appreciate you I just went ahead and like set under my eyes with my normal well rested by Bare Minerals and it is so cakey so I don't know if it's that freaking foundation primer or what it is, but it does not normally go cakey like this. Plus this concealer does not normally crease like this on me. So the concealer is done. I only see it under my eyes because now we're going to do powder. Can I just show you something first? Can you see how horrendous and patchy this is? Look, there's like patches of foundation. Like what is going on? Have you ever lied about the quality of a product because you were paid to speak about it? No. If it's like a first impression, I'll let you know. If it is it's something I've been trying for a while, I'll usually say that. So yeah, like there's often talking points associated with a sponsorship. They'll say, oh, we want you to talk about the features, the ingredients or whatever. I make sure I agree to those first, you know, like I make sure I agree with the application technique they recommend or I'll make sure I agree with, you know, if it says that it's opaque and lightweight, I'll make sure I think that before I say that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use a full coverage foundation to try and cover up the patchiness to do. This is C2 Max Studio Fix Powder and I'm just going to pick this all over my face and hope that it covers a little bit of this foundation. My skin it looks dry as heck. Next question, which company do you have regrets doing collab slash sponsorship with? I can only really give like half-assed answers. Like, it's not like a regrettable collaboration per se, but maybe like a regrettable, something like regrettable happened. Like for example, Kiss Me. I love the products so much. They're amazing. I love the service so much, but then they had issues with their website security. And so I like canceled my partnership with them because I felt so freaking bad about like so many people getting money taken. And it wasn't necessarily the company's fault. I mean, I don't really know what's going on there. They gave me a statement and everything, but like I felt bad that I'd just done videos promoting them and then maybe some of my viewers got screwed over. Whether it was their fault or not, it still happened. So I'd say that's like the most regrettable. I'm trying to think of others. Like I'm sure there's been other little instances but I can't really think off the top of my head. I did do a collaboration, here's some tea for you. I did a collaboration with a company that I actually freaking loved. And so it was a sponsorship, it was before I had management. And so my terms, I used to do the video for them. And then I was like, please just pay me like, you know, within a few days of the video going up or whatever, which is so stupid. If you're an industry professional, you know, you should always ask at least for a deposit or like the payment up front once the work has been done, I guess. Like for me, usually when I do a sponsorship, Sponsorship, we'll ask for the money and then the video will go up. Do you know what I mean? Like after I've already done the video before it goes up, they'll pay me. So I trusted this company because we actually did a collab in the past. I loved what they did. I loved them. I don't even think this company is still running. And um, then they just vanished off the face of the earth. And I actually had to hire a debt collector and they were not successful. <laughs> so I hired a debt collector to try and get my money because I'd obviously just missed out on a heap of money. I left the review up because the company was good and 
I don't know, I should have really taken it down and I was kind of like, oh, I'm sure they'll pay me, but it ended up being like two years later and they still hadn't paid me. They still never did. And that was really, really shit. So that's probably the most regrettable. Do I spill the name on the company or not? I'm gonna see if they're still running. All right, I'm gonna say it. The brand was her fashion box. The first article that pops up is from two years ago and it says New South Wales fair trading issues warning over online business her fashion box. Consumers are being warned to steer clear of an online business that began on Channel 10's Shark Tank and promises to deliver the latest fashion and beauty products in a box every three months. And I was actually introduced to this company at a like YouTube get together convention like run by Google. So I trusted this company and like I said I'd already done a little bit of work for them previously that was paid so I assumed that you know the second time they would pay me as well and they just never paid me. Yeah. There you go, obviously a whole lot of other people um, had issues and including customers, so shit. Now I'm thinking I really should have removed the video. One of my um, Instagram friends did message me and say I've had issues getting my payment. She actually did get her payment and I was just like, I've just had the same issue. It was around the same time. I didn't reach out to anyone else to talk about it because I was just like, holy crap, you know, like I thought it was just me. I was like very naive. I thought like, you know, it was a genuine misunderstanding or a genuine like, you know, I thought maybe she couldn't afford it or something. I didn't realize that obviously this person was just clearly trying to rip off people. I was very naive, so I feel bad about that. So there's some money I will never get back for my work, but oh well. You live and you learn, and it has taught me a valuable lesson in the business world, because YouTube is a business for a lot of people, and there you go. <laughs> Let's do bronzer. I'm gonna use a little bit of it Global Glow, because my skin is matte as heck, and this is a very amazing, like, kind of shimmery bronzer that just glows you up and bronzes you up at the same time. I really like it. So I'm just using a jumbo face brush to apply some to my cheeks, and I'll put some on my temples and nose. I'm hoping that that answer was good enough to grab me using a product I like. <laughs> next up, let's contour. The next question is, have you ever had an unpleasant experience with anyone within the beauty community. Yes I have but not of my own accord and it happened later on and I've kind of briefly mentioned this a couple of times and if you want to hear a small amount more about it you can watch my recent Q&A video. I'll link it below. But this is a very vague answer so I will still <laughs> Use a product that I don't like. This product I actually loved at first and it was so weird because after a week or so of using it, it started just looking so warm no matter what color I chose. So this is by Tarte's the Park Ave Princess palette and I would use this color here to contour because it obviously looks very cool and it looks like it would be the perfect color but for some reason like every time I use it now it looks warm. Even with a clean brush, it's not my brush. I don't know. The actual quality of this is so good, but the color just like bothers me so much. I'll see if you can see, like, I don't know. Also, it's like one of those palettes where I like don't use most of the colors, so it's kind of like a waste of time for me. Like, I would only ever reach for this shade out of the whole palette. Sometimes this one to bronze, but not very often. It's the kind of color I can definitely still get away with, but it's just not my favorite and so I was like getting rid of this and this is like the only thing I can think of right now for contouring. Like I don't know, it just looks so orange to me. What do you guys think? Be honest. Do you think it's like normal or is it orange? Regardless, there it is. It is on. So next up, let's do some blush. How much money do you make annually? Of course I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> I've hinted about it. Um, I don't even know exactly. I just freaking see the freaking tax which is fine, I contribute to our economy, which is an amazing thing and a good thing, but it still freaking sucks when you see that money. <laughs> like, oh. Anyways, yeah, um, blush. Okay, literally this is the only product. I can see in my collection right now that is one that I just don't really like, but I still keep this palette because it's handy for travel, but it's actually the Ambient Blushes from Hourglass, and I love, love, love this bronzer by Hourglass. It's like my favorite thing ever. The blushes, like, they have just never really done anything for me. And I used to have some full-size ones and I never reached for them. I just find them so just shimmery and sheer. And I like sheer blushes. I like buildable blushes. I don't know why. I just am not the hugest fan of them. I don't really have a blush here that I'm like, oh god, this is the worst freaking thing I've ever seen. And if I did have one, it will be long gone. But guess what? I'm gonna start keeping the stuff I absolutely hate because I always get recommended to do, like, products I hate videos. So, I'm gonna start doing that for you for sure. Hopefully next time it'll be a bit more interesting than this one. This is actually the shade Mecca Birthday Glow, which is limited edition and it actually does look quite pretty, but just in general these blushes, like, I don't hate them. I just, they're just not really my cup of tea. I'm like loading this brush up right now, like, 
Like, where even is it? Where is it? I don't know. Like, it's so, like, whatever. Just, like, why would you spend this much money on a product that's just, like, whatever? I don't know. This is the third layer. And then we're finally getting some colour. My cheeks are just one big glow now. But that's alright. Anyway, so the next question for highlighter. Not naming names, but you had a beauty guru stay with you about a year back and then you guys never talked to each other again. What happened between you and her? Alright, so heaps of you guys obviously know who this is because it's got like 200 thumbs up. Yeah, I don't really feel like talking about it. A big thing was though, like, we had mutual friends and that mutual friend came to me saying that she said things that did not happen and it really confused me and there were just all these little like sirens going off in my head that was like what like just I was just so confused and I decided just to remove that person from my kind of like life and feed and everything um because I was just very confused and then she was messaging me saying like oh I know why you hate me it's because I copied your website but it wasn't my fault and things like this and it was just so freaking weird and I was just like I don't want to be involved in this and I'm quite bad like that sometimes like sometimes I'm very blunt and sometimes when I don't want someone in my life anymore I'm just straight up like I'm friend or like whatever even with like friends I had for a long time in my real life when they were just like completely flaky kind of people eventually I just message them and be like look I can't do this anymore like have a good life like no disrespect like I'm not meaning that as in like oh my god like salty like genuinely just like you have a good life you have fun I can't do this let's just have it's like a breakup almost like a like a civilized breakup so I gave a half-assed answer but we're still gonna use the highlight I just really don't like I find this like such a pointless highlighter it's not even like a nice natural highlighter it's just like nothing this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Fair to Light. And there's like a bronzer in this collection, I think, which I actually really do like because it's like a buildable bronzer and it's really pretty and soft. But this to me is just like meh. I'm going to use like a fluffy little brush and like look how much like powder comes off. Can you see this? Nah, I'm going to use a different brush because this isn't even picking it up. It's just floating into the midair. So I've got a small face brush and I'm going to pack it on my brush. And like that's after packing it on. Literally like, and it's just shimmery it's not even like pretty and dewy or anything it's not lit from within it's just nothing i'm gonna do like four layers of it and i love myself a buildable highlighter too by the way but this is just too far so yeah that's about five layers <laughs> and it's there now but it's just not my favorite and the actual i don't know it's just it doesn't do anything it doesn't like make my skin look smooth or anything it, it still picks up on like lines and stuff it's just whatever it's probably the only bare minerals product i've hated so far so there you go okay the next one just says if you didn't have youtube or exo beauty what would your career be i think about this sometimes sometimes i think i would have really had my ass into gear and finished uni or like studied something different um and hopefully done something really fun with my life i think i probably would have ended up in like advertising um or like some kind of PR job because when I was at university I really 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 enjoyed like the design elements and like advertising elements of like what I was studying but I did drop out of that so honestly who knows what I would have ended up doing would I have just ended up working at Countdown full-time or would I have gone and you know got a different job at one point I was applying at makeup counters I don't know if I would have ended up being a makeup artist regardless because I just had a lot of fun doing makeup and then the other side of things like even now sometimes I'm like I just want to like drop everything and go study to be like a police detective or something but I wouldn't because I freaking love what I do yeah but it's just like this like weird niggling thing in my little brain and I'm like oh that would be so fun because I read so many books about like <laughs> police detectives and stuff and I know it's not even gonna be the same like in real life but I don't know it's just like this thing that goes off in my head so there you go so I'm gonna use some of my browsings by benefit which I love just to shape up my eyebrows a little bit more okay genuinely my eyebrows look like crap because my skin is so crusty from that foundation anyway moving right along next step is my eye primer I suppose um, are you and Hamish thinking of having any kids is the next one yep we do want to have well Hamish wants one I want three so <laughs> well I want two actually probably two or three I don't know but Hamish is just like one <laughs> but I reckon he'll change his mind later but even so if I only had one child I'd be happy you know it's it's still a baby so I'm gonna use one of my favorite primers today I've been using my state of Australia a lot so today we'll use the Smashbox one instead just to switch it up even though it's like the same friggin thing <laughs> next question is how many people have you slept with wow um i don't really want to answer but i'll give you a hint it's probably not as many as you would think but yeah so 
eyeshadows. Um, these are some that I just didn't really like. I just thought they were kind of a waste of time and they didn't make very much sense to me. The Court Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. I liked some of the shades and then others I just really didn't. Even the colors just don't make sense to me. I'm going to start with this like orange shade, peach, and just put that into my crease area. And I really like Kylie's like eyeshadow palette she's done in the past so I don't know why I don't like this one at all. People were like hating on me in my review but um yeah it's just my opinion. I'm just building that up a lot. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the grayish color too. I want to see what happens just because I want some actual dimension in my eyes. That's quite cool how that's looking. I'm gonna do like outer corner and just like bring it through the crease a little. See, this is just like really not pigmented like you look at it and it's just like where does it go? I know I'm using a fluffy brush, but like, come on, whatever. And on the lid, I'm gonna try out this color just here. I'm gonna use it with my finger. So that's quite pretty. But the actual quads just don't make sense to me. Like I wish there was like, just one different like darker brown or something that you could like create some different looks with. Cause otherwise all the shimmers are like very similar, you know? So I'm just putting this all over the lid and I'm gonna blend a little bit more of that peachy color just to like, Make sure. Oh my god, look, I just like blended away all the shimmer off my lid. It's like not sticking. And you can't hate me because last time I didn't use a primer, I think. Look, I'm using my favorite primer right now and it's still the same story. Just putting some of the peach underneath. <sighs> okay, whatever. There we are. Next up is eyeliner and I freaking hate this one, so I really hope. I really, really hope I can answer this question. Have you ever met a YouTuber who is a complete different person than what they portray to be on the internet? If so, who? Yes, and I'm not answering that question. I'm really mad about this because like seriously Like can I just skip eyeliner and go straight to mascara because I would rather use a mascara I hate rather than this, but no, I feel like I have to use this now because I've amped myself up <sighs> This is the worst eyeliner ever and it's so expensive. Honest. Oh, look at that Did you just see the amount of crap? There's it's just honestly like not good. The brush is so awkward as well I'm just I already know my eyeliner is gonna come out so badly how are you supposed to get a sharp line with a brush this friggin big? It's so big. Oh god, I'm trying so hard and it's just like not working out for me. I just wasted so much product too. I probably just wasted like $10 with eyeliner. I can't get it any sharper than that because the brush is just so thick and wobbly and just not like even at all. It's just a really bad applicator. Oh my god, I've got fallout freaking everywhere too. Look how wet it is right now. Eyeliner nightmares. That's literally like the best eyeliner I can do. It's not too bad, but compared to what I can do with other eyeliners, it's terrible, if you know what I mean. By the way, the brush tip dries out so quickly, so I'm like dipping into this to like keep it wet. My eyes are like complete different shapes, but it is what it is, and no word of a lie, my eyes are like stinging right now. They just feel real dry all of a sudden. Like sensitive, I guess. Okay, next up, mascara. Woo! I don't really care if I've got bad mascara. What is the reason you don't collaborate with other YouTubers? Oh, I can answer this easily. There's like literally no deep reason other than the fact I live in New Zealand and I'm like by myself and I'm also like terrified of people and I'm terrified of getting close to YouTubers um, because honestly there's just so much friggin drama that pops up with everyone and I've been screwed over by a few people and it's yeah I'm just scared and in a very inconvenient location. <laughs> I do get offered to do collabs sometimes and sometimes I'm like yeah I would like to but it's just a long distance thing and it's quite difficult and I used to do a lot of like online collabs like where we would both do a video and shout each other out but I feel like that just isn't really a thing anymore on YouTube so yeah it's not that deep. I'm gonna use one of my faves Better Than Sex by Too Faced which is dry AF right now. I might have to chuck this out. It has been open for a while. All right, and the final question we'll do, I guess we'll just do like straight up lipstick. So, Truth, what is your least favorite EXO Beauty product? Let me think, because I genuinely, obviously I love everything if I've like done it, like I've made it myself. Um, I actually have to think really hard for this. I might have to use a product that I don't like today. Can I be dumb and say something like my brush roll? Cause I don't usually use it myself. <laughs> But it's a brush roll and it's freaking amazing quality. Um, no, I don't know. Can I say the phone cases? Because I don't even, like, they can't fit on my phone because I upgraded my phone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a product I don't really like. That was a terrible answer. So I'm going to go in with this Hypnotic Lights by Milani. And I actually love these on the eyes. There's the eye version.
version. This is the lip version. So I'm going to use just a lip pencil as a base and then I'm going to pack this on top because it doesn't really look good at all if you put it on blank lips. So I'm just going to chuck on some of this one. It's called Sienna by Jouer. I have a love-hate relationship with this liner. I love the formula, but the fact that this is how much product you get. Like, I'm sorry, but what? Look how small that is. And I've only used it like three times. No, two times? Three times. Not much. By the way, I have tried this before. That's why I'm saying I dislike it. This is just a new shade I have not tried before. It's basically just like the finish. I'm not the biggest fan of this sparkly lips. You know, like I don't mind a little bit of sparkle in a lip gloss or something, but this is just way too much for me personally. This is in the shade 1. If you like this kind of look, then all power to you. I just, I don't think I'd ever feel comfortable leaving the house looking like this. Smells amazing though. So anyway, that is my truth or dare challenge finished. The next question would have been good. What is the most embarrassing thing you had to edit out of a video? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and let me know if there's any other like challenge or like fun type videos like this you would like to see. I do really want to film Louie and Zeus picking my makeup soon, my puppies. So if you want to see it, make sure you thumbs up this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.